Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's episode we will have a directional movement so our character can run backwards, sideways, strafing, forward, kind of forward, not really forward in all kinds of weird directions. Uh, his legs are gonna move, same goes for the walking animations as well. I have a little odd animations for backwards. Uh, but if you have some proper animations, it's gonna look a little bit better forward. It looks all right uh, But backwards it looks a little odd because I have these weird animations So before we are actually starting to create and do and make something happen uh, I want to talk about some of the assets that I have over here and how you can make your own uh, So I'm actually using the Mixamo skeletal and I'm using their animations I brought my character into Mixamo, rigged it, so now I'm able to use their animations. And I'm going to open my blend space and my animation blueprint for this. And inside of our blend space, we can see all of our animations for the character. And we're going to need a animations that allow us to like strafe left and right. Uh, that can also allow us to go like sideways kind of. So let me show you what I mean by that. So first we need walking sideways. So something like this, obviously in both of the directions, right? Uh, you can just download one and flip it the other way around, but I downloaded them. They had it in both directions. And also we're going to need something that allows us to walk like forward like this. Obviously we don't need a top pose, but I'm going to be using the odd top pose in this video. Uh, we're going to talk about blending the, the upper and lower body parts later down the road. And we also need like the backwards animations and what I did with this is I actually just grabbed this animation I uh, duplicated it and I just made it uh, on the rate scale of minus one and this way it flips around so if I put it to one there you go he walks that way if I do it minus one he walks backwards and I did exactly the same thing with running and walking so I have my walking and I have my walking backwards. Exactly the same animation, it's just that the rate scale is at minus one. So that's a cool little tip trick that you can do to basically use the same animation essentially. Okay, enough of talking, let's start working. The first thing that we need is we need to calculate the direction of our character in which he is facing so that basically the animation, so that the blend space knows which, which part of the blend space it actually needs to grab. So inside of our animation graph, uh, event update animation we're gonna right click and we're gonna do calculate the direction like so now the return value can be promoted to a variable and we could call it direction because that is essentially our direction in which we are facing well it's more more so like the rotation okay so let's bring it over here we need to fill out these two values the velocity and the base rotation the velocity we can grab from our player's velocity that's the one that we need and also from our player we need to get the rotation so we can get actor rotation plug that in and we're good to go okay so that's uh, that's enough for this one now we actually need to provide this direction into our blend space and we can do that if we go to our animation graph state machine and we have our default movement state which now has a missing pin over here and that is used for our direction so we can get that and plug it in now inside of our animation blend space we have our horizontal axis and the vertical axis we spoke about the vertical one in the previous video in today's episode horizontal one so let's give it the name which is our direction and as soon as we change this name it should automatically be changing in our animation graph uh, animation blueprint as well okay back in the blend space we need a minimum and maximum rotation values so we want to have a full-on 360 rotation so we're going to do minus 180 up until positive 180 our grid size though is not going to be enough with four there's quite a few animations that we need so i'm going to bump this up to eight hit save should be all good if your animations are off center make sure you bring those back in the center this ha it has sometimes happened to me in this case it didn't so it's all good now we need to make sure that our character can now strafe at least so first we need some kind of animations that will allow us to strafe so we have our right strafe our left strafe let's start with walking so we have our walk strafe left uh, accidentally double click that 
So I'm going to grab my walk straight strafe left and I'm going to bring it to the speed value of my walking. So this line right here and I'm going to just bring it to where it says direction 90 degrees because we want to strafe when our character is going sideways exactly 90 degrees. And we're going to have one over here and another one over here. Now how to tell which is which, which should be in which side is if you go to your green dot to over here, he should be walking forward. If you bring this to the right side, he should be facing the opposite way. Because right now he's actually walking to from our perspective to the right side. But in reality, remember, your character is going to be 180 degrees. You're going to be is going to you're going to be facing him from from his backside. You're going to be looking at his back of his head and he's going to be actually walking the other way. So what we want to do is make sure to bring these the other way around then so that whenever we move to the right side, he's moving to the left. Whenever we move to the left, he should be moving to the right side. OK, so we're going to save that and let's let's try this. We have some kind of a progress. Let's make sure this progress actually works. But at this point, you will see that nothing has happened. He doesn't strafe. He still walks the same way. That is because inside of our third person character, inside of his movement component, we need to do some tiny adjustments. We want to go to the section called uh, character rotation settings. And we want to basically flip these two Boolean values. We want to uncheck the orient rotation to movement. And we want to check use controller desired rotation. And this way now, Whenever we move the camera, the character moves with us. And also now he is allowed to strafe. Uh, I need to hold shift so that he walks instead of running because this is the walking speed. Because if I'm running, you will see that he's always going to go forward. Regardless of what I'm doing, he's always going to be running forward because that is his uh, maximum speed animation. But if I hold shift, which I added so that we can do that, you will see that he's going to be blending nicely going forward sideways but well he's not going to be doing properly when it comes to walking backwards but forwards and sideways he should be strafing pretty good there we go okay so we have some kind of a progress if your animations are the other way around uh, make sure you then flip them over here okay so we have strafing now let's do exactly the same thing for our running so i have my run uh, run right strafe walking I think we have right strafe should be this way okay yeah he should be turning the other way and then, and then I have the left strafe which should go to over here there we go so I have running and I have walking and he's gonna blend nicely between those speeds and based on the direction and the speed he should be blending pretty good Okay, so this is for the 90 direction. Now, one thing though that we want to fix is we want to actually grab our idle position, idle animation, and bring it to every single one of these grid squares right here. Because if we're going to fill these out, well, it could cause us some issues uh, with the directions. We just want to make sure that he is always idling. If he's standing still, we want to make sure he's always idling and doesn't turn and doesn't move and just stays chilling there. Otherwise, you can see he does want to rotate a little bit with the animation, of course, but we want to make sure if he's at zero, he just chills there. Okay, the next thing is, so we have our strafe for the 90 degrees. Now we go to 135 degrees, which is kind of backwards. So we're going to run our walking backwards right animation, as you can see this one right here. So we're going to bring it over here and we're going to have another left one over here. So now what you should see is him actually changing to the other direction, which is going to look a bit odd in this animation blueprint. But it makes a lot of sense because this is 135 degrees. So it's kind of backwards. So he should be walking backwards at this, this point because that is the rotation of the character. So the next one is 180 degrees, which is fully backwards. So over there, we want to run our walking backwards animation. And we want to do that at both of these edges it should be the same animation. So when you have when you go over here, he should be walking backwards. And let's do the same thing for our running animations. So we have our running backward right and our running backward left and also I have my just simply running backwards animations, which again should be at the top right and the top left corners. 
Now you could have many different things in between. I have my walking. You should you could could have like uh, sprinting, jogging, running, all that stuff. And again, this exactly the same rules applies for those ones as well. You can even add something at 45 degree angle as well. I uh, opted not to do that. I do have those animations, but I don't really see a point in that because these things are going to be blending together quite quite nicely in my situation. So let's give it a shot. Let's hit play. And now if we run backwards, he's going to run backwards. He's going to run backwards right, backwards left. He's going to strafe to the side. Obviously, as you can see, these backwards animations are a bit odd because it shows him like holding a gun. Those are the animations. They are the way they are right now. But later on, we are going to talk about blending between different uh, top and bottom body poses. We're no longer going to have this odd uh, weapon holding animation when whenever we jump and whenever we go backwards it's going to be blending nicely based on whatever the character is holding but yeah that's going to be it for today's episode uh, i hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something new hope this made sense because i'll be real with you at first those degree thingies made no sense to me because nobody really pointed those out i don't know i may be just a little dumb who knows but uh, somehow i did manage to figure out eventually and hopefully you have as well if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next one.